Hello, welcome back. This is the final video for recoding and value labels. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about batch recoding, batch value labels, and a couple other little things. What I have in front of you in the syntax are four variables. They all have to relate to opinions on state and local tax expenditures for different parts of the environment. I pulled them out of the MCIC data set, and I've already run them into the output that you can see here. And as you can see, the first one has to deal with waste management, the environment, recycling, parks and open spaces. Now what batch recoding is going to do is it's going to allow us to recode more than one variable in the same line of code or menu, however we set up the recode itself. And what's going to be key to this is ensuring that each variable we batch recode has the same type of valid responses. In this case, I'm talking about the code numbers themselves and secondly, the names of the value labels. The value labels themselves aren't as important, but they should certainly be an indicator that they're talking about the same thing. In this case, they are the exact same. So my code values are 1, 2, 3, and 8. 1, 2, 3, and 8 for waste management and the environment. You'll see they're the same for the other two variables as well. Very important, somewhat important, not important, do not know. Again, they match up. The two very importants are 1, the two some Twos are both somewhat important. Three, both not very important. Both eights for do not know. As I scroll down, you'll see the same thing's true for importance of recycling and importance of uh, parks and open spaces. And what you'll see here is all of them also have a code 7 refused, but it's already put into the missings. I'm not going to be as concerned about that depending on how I do my recode here. So since these are all the same, I can recode them together. And I'm going to recode them to keep it very important, since this has the majority valid percentage in all four of them, and I'm going to code together 2, 3, and 8 into a 0. So I'm going to make it very important as my policy opinion versus everything else. And here I'm going to go to, I'll just do it through the menu first, transform, recode into different variables. I still have something in there from last time. And here's where I'm going to go ahead and look them up. And V Okay, I just put it on pause for a second while I search for those variables in the list so I don't waste anyone's time. And here I just put them all over and they all have question marks. So one at a time, I'm just gonna give them all new names and call it ENV waste. And I'm just gonna call it waste. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother putting in a label at the moment. It's not required. And then I'm going to do this one. This is going to be E and V. Uh, let's call it tax imp. This one I'm going to call E and V recycle, RCY. And the last one here, E and V open. I'll call it park. So it was parks and open spaces. I like park better. Change that. So we've got four of them in there. We're going to do old and new values. And we're just going to go ahead and plug in what we have. One. It's going to stay the same. I could do one equals one. That would be just as good. I do a range. Two through three. And they're going to become my value of zero. I'm going to do value of 8, and that's also going to become 0. Now notice I didn't do 2 through 8. If that was the case, what it would have done is it would have pulled in that 7, which was the refused group, which is currently in the missings, and it would have made them valid again. I didn't want to do that, so we're just going to do this. And I'm going to do one other little thing here. Now normally I could just go ahead and run this as it is. But I'm also going to do all other values, and I'm going to code them 9. This is what you do sometimes if you want to maintain control over other values that might be there. Right now it's only going to be affecting the 7 refused. But if there were other values that we wanted to exclude, and I didn't want to just kick them to system missing automatically, I wanted to have a little more control over it, I code them as 9 or 99 or any other number that's going to be designated separately from the others. Click continue. 
and then I'll click paste. Now the way I keep that value 9 out, here's my recode commands. And actually let's go ahead and look forward here real quick. The batch recoding, what this does is it puts all four of the variables you wanted in a row. Now if you had the syntax before, it was just recode the single variable name and then the recoding instructions into the new variable name. Here it's the same process but we just have one after another after another and the names for them coincide. Waste, then tax importance, followed by recycling, followed by parking or parks and open spaces. So that's the trick to batch recoding. It's just adding in more names and making sure on the renamed into side you have them corresponding along. Now I want I still have over here this else equals nine. We want to have a little more manual control. There's a command called missing values. If you were to type it slowly, it would pop up the little box for you. Let me show you. There it is, missing values. And to make sure I don't get anything spelled wrong, because syntax is sensitive for your spelling, I'm just going to copy and paste. I don't actually have to have that line break in there. So I have all four variables named in a row, and then I just put in parentheses the value of the number I'm going to kick out and a period at the end. This is a way to manually instruct SPSS to kick out the number 9. Okay, I'm only going to kick it out out of three of them. I'm going to show you how to do it with the last one manually. So I'm going to go ahead and run these. Actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and show you how to do a batch value label. So I'm going to do value labels, space, just as if I was going to do one, and I'm going to do a batch of them. I'm going to do three out of the four. There they are. And I'm going to type in the value labels. One was very important, and zero was other, don't know, period at the end. Oop. Make sure it's a quotation, not a slash. There they are. Now, I had four variables originally. I'm only doing the missing values and value labels for three of them in the syntax. I'm going to show you the fourth one, how to do it in the data set itself. So I'm going to recode these guys. If it goes smoothly in your output, it will just demonstrate the syntax words right there for you. It's not actually going to do frequencies. And if we go to our data view, this is at the bottom. Here are the new variables I just put in place. And here are the value labels, other, don't know, and very important, for three out of the four. The last one doesn't have any. This way we can put them in manually. One equals, very important, add, and zero is other, don't know, add. Okay. The only reason I think you would want to put them in manually like this is if you are saving your data set. If you save your data set, then of course all of this would be saved in the set itself. But if you're doing as I advised before and just saving your syntax, by having your value labels listed in the syntax, you can just run them when you want and it will populate all of them at once. The same thing is going to be true for the missings. We coded nine as missing with the other ones and I did that for three out of the four but we didn't do it for the last one. I wanted to show you how you do it manually. So you click on this button. It says no missing values. We're going to say discrete. These are the ones that we type in. I'm just going to plug nine in there. Notice it has spaces for three. You can choose up to three different numbers to have as missing. Usually they're the refuse, no answers, and occasionally don't knows when you want to kick them out. Or you can have them all coded together like we do here with a common value nine. And there they are. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set this up to run a new frequencies. Reset this. That's from something else I was doing previously. And here they are. Waste. Through park. Put them together. Paste them into the syntax. And I'm going to go ahead and run them. Notice my recoding syntax is gone. I accidentally left it selected like it is now. If you paste in new syntax and you've got something else selected, sometimes it overwrites it. 
and here we are. The waste variable, other very important, other very important, notice 4158, kind of nice, recycling, and now these are ready for further analysis.